Disheveled ones, it's Terrifier Week. Terrifier 3 drops on Friday, and in celebration, I'm going to revisit all the movies, and I'm bringing you along with me. If you're scared of clowns, you may want to close your eyes and imagine something sweet. Like a, like a, a ring pop. Alright. Oh, yeah. So, Art the Clown was in movies before Terrifier 2016. As a matter of fact, he was in two short films. One was called The Ninth Circle, and the other one, Terrifier. The Ninth Circle was from 2008, and Art, just a demon that captured a girl to bring to pretty much Satan. Right. As of right now, the only version of that on YouTube is a Spanish version. But you know what? I'm going to watch it anyway. Damien Leone, he knows about holidays. Even on this ninth circle, it took place on Halloween. Which is something you'll see, you know, in the next couple of movies as well. So Art the Clown in the ninth circle is not played by David Howard Thornton. Art is actually played by Mike Giannardi, and I will put his last name right here because I am not going to butcher this thing. Because, trust me folks, I would definitely be butchering it. Mike was not an actor. He was a friend of Damien. You know, Damien's like, hey, I need a clown in this scene. Can you do it? And he's like, sure. And he did it. So when people saw the short film, the thing that stuck out to people the most was Art the Clown. So that won't be the last time we see that short, though. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. Alright, what else can I find in here? If I had a horn, I could go boop boop, but I don't have a horn, so I guess I won't be doing that. Okay. So, in 2011, Art showed up again in a short film called Terrifier. Um, it's actually on Tubi right now. And what's really cool about that is on Tubi, you can also um, watch it with commentary with Mike and Damien. That's really cool. Of course, guys, with Tubi, you do have to sit through commercials. It's real sad, but we're getting free shit to watch, right? And maybe these ads help pay Damien for a Terrifier 4. Probably not. No, no, definitely not. D&D Films. I wonder what that was. The score in this one slaps, y'all. I really like the filter that they use for this. I mean, it's it's simplistic, but, you know, it's got that grindhouse look. I just, I really dig it. And, like, uh, when, when she walks into that room and Art was doing his thing with the hacksaw, I like the, uh, the grindhouse-style zoom they did with that. From what I understand, this originally was uploaded to YouTube. Jesse Baggett, he was a producer, he wanted to put it into a short film film which we'll end up talking about with the next movie All Hallows Eve. I did plenty of short films when I was a, a youngster but none of them were this good. <laughs> if I had enough people subscribed I might even edit one together and throw it up on here but I mean whew, I'd have to have at least a thousand subscribers and we we all know that's never gonna happen. I did hit 250. Thank you guys. Thank you. I do appreciate that. Oh, you got to love that vintage 2011 flip phone. I <laughs> gotta love it. And that, my friends, is how you do a short film. That is just amazing. I wish I, back in 2011 that I actually saw that on YouTube. We'll be seeing that one again. Alright, let's get back in here. See what else I can find. Hmm. All Hallows Eve. So we're going to take the first two short films I just watched. And we're going to put an awesome wraparound on it. 
from 2013. This one, this one's fun. And yet again, we have another uh, movie that used the public domain Night of the Living Dead in their movie. It's fun. <laughs> so what was the weirdest thing you ever got in your trick-or-treat bag? I never got a VHS. Now, weirdest thing that I ever gave away is... Uh, and, and I may have said this in the Horror Buddies, I don't remember. But one year, we bought a bunch of X-Men comics. And like X-Force and all these different, you know, Marvel comics. Because there were some Overpower cards in them. So we took the Overpower cards out. And then just kind of handed them out for Halloween that year. We were given the gift of comic books. It's the weirdest thing I ever gave. Honestly, I never really received anything weird, I guess, that I can recall. I'm like, maybe a toothbrush. So the Ninth Circle is a little bit different in All Hallows Eve than it was the original short film. These other two girls that are chained up in there, that was not on the original short film that was released. It was like, I guess, some stuff that... Um, he decided to edit it out and you know he, when he was putting this together he um, got the footage and was like what was I thinking I should have kept this in you know that's cool <laughs> dude a babysitter is killing me with her whole covering up thing and like the boy is just sitting there yes 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 and every time they cut to the babysitter it's like <laughs> she is now through the tape in because it just she couldn't quit thinking about it and we get another short film this one was not one of those original ones so they wanted to have all hollows eve to you know be different directors and, and damien was like no let me uh let me do them all you know got some money to do the other one and i don't remember this one i've only seen all hollows eve like one other time it's my third time watching it actually because I watched it uh, back uh, October 8th, 2014. And we watched it again two years ago, like the day before Halloween, but we were like carving pumpkins again. So I'd imagine I just wasn't really paying attention to it that day because I was carving pumpkins. But yeah. When he pulls out and uses his makeshift cat of nine tails oh my god so fucking awesome poor art always getting it in the eye damien were you a fan of fulci i don't know why it is always when i think of eyeball horror i think of fulci i mean i i do know why it is because he was the godfather of that shit you know what i'm saying favorite segment of all hollows eve is the Terrifier segment from 2011. Just an amazing short film. An amazing segment. Um, the Halloween jingle was freaking awesome. I wish I can get a copy of that. But I, I think one of the guys that was responsible for that went on to do the jingle in Terrifier 2. So that's really cool. The cream of the crop kill will go to... The hacksawed head. Dude, that is just... That was brutal. Art, the clown, and his hacksaws. They go hard. The end of the Terrifier segment where the costume designer isn't technically dead. But that was that was brutal too. What what he had done to her. Uh, that scene is is just just awesome. Just all, all around, I love that. Uh, I prefer the movie when the action's going on. Some of the acting, dialogue, and shit... Is just like uh just give me the action damien and his uh special effects were just awesome in all hollows eve in the segment with the creepy alien thing that lady's husband had painted art and then in terrifier 2 jonathan and sienna's dad does like some drawing of art the clown i wonder if those are going to connect soon who else is out there drawing, painting, making art out of art? Hmm. Okay. Let's go back in. See what we can get. Kind of 
stuff do we got in here? A pancake? Mmm. Mmm. It's pumpkin. What might I do? Do you guys think Art, the clown, has pumpkin pancakes in his bag that he carries around? There's all kinds of useful tools in there. How the fuck did this get in there? Good movie, by the way. Really good movie. But not what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for right there. Terrifier from 2016. Dude, the way that they were eating that pizza just, just makes you just want to just grab that fucker and eat it. Oh my god. The fingers. That was amazing. That was like the burning amazing. How he just chopped the fingers. Art's just trying to be festive. You know, making Steve's head a, a pumpkin. And it was so adorbs. Rats is one of those words that as soon as you hear it, well, as soon as my family hears rats, we all go, rats! Like in, in Ghost, the song, rats. Yeah, yeah, we're strange. And for all you slasher purists that are so mad that Art uses a gun, you know, Art is not Jason Voorhees. No. Art is not Victor Crowley. No. Art is not Michael Myers. It's okay. He may use a gun, but he uses it so well and violently. I love the the bag scene there because like any horror movie, Damien is a brilliant man. He knows that there are people yelling at the screen, just rip the plastic or poke a hole, you know? He knows that's what's happening. He knows the people are yelling that. And so that's why he left it on there for so long before she ripped through it. Just because to A, get the people going, get them yelling at the TV and telling her what to do. But then she does it, and all the fans that are watching are excited because she did what she was supposed to. Fucking brilliant. That's the first time I've watched this movie sober. And guess what? I love it even more. I wasn't really bothered with acting this time. If you watch the old horror buddies that uh, we did uh, a couple years ago on Terrifier, some of the acting kind of bothered me. But you know what? It did not bother me today um, at all whatsoever. So that's always good. So the cream of the crop kill goes to... You guessed it, split in half there with Dawn. Such an awesome kill. I mean, you, you can't go wrong, you know. If you're putting together that, that mixed video of all these awesome kills from horror movies, that one has to go on there. Now, Terrifier may not be for all. There's a lot of discourse on, like, the internet, you know. People basically wanting to shit on everybody that likes Terrifier movies. And... You know, so what? Let people like what they like. You know, this, this is a great fucking slasher. And if you don't like it, that's fine. You know, go watch your Speak No Evil or whatever the fuck you, you like. Your, your, your thriller movies. You know, whatever. You know, you, you know, I respect, you know, wanting to watch a good uh, gothic horror movie. Because, I mean, I, I, I enjoy a gothic horror. But you know what? Don't go shit on people that like other things different than you. Now, uh, violence just for violence is what a lot of people say. Eh, whatever. You know, what were the Friday the 13th movies? Moral plays? 
some will say. No, not really. They were just to make money, right? I love Terrifier. And I am looking forward to Terrifier 2 tomorrow. And then Terrifier 3 on Thursday. Oh, I can just taste it. Kind of like Art was tasting Victoria. All right, let's see what he has in the bag. Oh, okay. As you can see, I've got a little uh, helper. I, I, I conned insane to come in here and watch this amazing movie with me. Whatever movie we pull out of here, I, I wonder what it's going to be. I don't know. I mean, if you're watching this vlog, I, you may have a guess, but you know, what's in here? We don't know. Well, since it was in my bag of tricks, I'm going to go ahead and eat it. God, I love these things. Oh, pumpkin flips. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I gotta go ahead and, you know, hit these up before Creepy J eats them all. Yep. Wash it down with a nice Baja blast. So, snack time is over. Okay? I mean, I'm sure we'll visit the Clown Cafe before too long. But, let's see what else we got in here. What the fuck is this? Oh. Uh oh. What could that be? I don't know. A package? I mean, we have all the movies, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, shit, let's, uh. Let, well, let's, let's. Wait, don't you open it? Yeah, let's do it. Ooh. What? Oh my god. It's a book, y'all. They've done it. The official Terrifier 2 movie novelization. Yay. That is so awesome. Tim Wagner has done this. By the way, Tim Wagner has also done the X one that I have not got yet. I need to get it. I actually looked for it the other day on Amazon and I didn't see it. But, have you guys grabbed this yet? I'm super excited to read this. This is, uh, this is gonna be, it's gonna be, uh, uh, a fun read. Dr. Seth Bolton was having one absolutely shit-tastic night. <laughs> Pretty good fucking open line, if I can say so myself. Pretty fucking good opening line. Alright guys, if you don't have that yet, I'm hoping you're jumping on it. So, you know what I wonder? I wonder if this is going to have a uh, an audio book as well. Hopefully. Yeah. So, yeah something something nice, uh, nice to listen to while you work. Oh yeah. Yeah. I love it. Mm-hmm. That's, that's exciting. All right, so let's see. What else am I gonna pull mm -hmm. out of here? Man, I hadn't pulled out any weapons in a while. I know. <gasps> oh. Terrifier 2. Steelbook. I mean, literally, you could use this as a weapon. Kind of like, you know, back in uh, 96, they used a, a metal oh. lunchbox on my head. I mean, just use it on my head. Like, you know. Okay. Maybe it wasn't metal. Yeah. Maybe it was plastic. But you know what I mean. If, it, if you've seen the lunchbox movies, you know what I mean. But, yes. It, super excited to watch this one again. We gotta talk about the records Jonathan has on the wall. We've got King Diamond the Eye, Merciful Fate Time, Slayer Hell Awaits, 
Merciful fate, don't break the oath. I mean, that is fucking awesome. I mean, I know Elliot, I mean, he had like a YouTube channel, or I think he still does have a YouTube channel that they would do like interviews with bands and stuff. Um, but I mean, you know, that is awesome. Now, if only we could have got King Diamond or Merciful Fate on the fucking soundtrack. That'd be nice. <laughs> Maybe King Diamond could have gave him a, a track because, you know, 2019, he supposedly had a fucking <laughs> album he's recording. You know, 2024, we're still waiting on it to drop. <laughs> Super excited for three. And of course, I'm seeing things in this that, you know, like in the school, you got Boo on the window. And if you remember in uh, the first movie, uh, in the diner, Boo was on the window. Now, three, Boo, will, we probably won't see Boo on the window because, well, it's a Christmas, Christmas movie. But I wonder if they'll slip that in there somehow. That's interesting to think about. I mean, was it intentional? I mean, I don't know. But, you know, I noticed Boo on this and I noticed Boo on the other, you know. Of course, I am just spooky, so maybe it's just that. <laughs> in the scene that Art's fucking up Allie and he gets her on the bed and he gets behind her and he's gonna start slashing her. I love how giddy he gets before he does <laughs> it. It's just shit like that just makes this movie so much better than the rest. Later on in that same scene, they're on the bed and it zooms up and on the wall they have like this little wood carved words where it says blessed. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you were blessed. Blessed by Art the Clown. Mm. Fucking just breaking that fucking arm, man. Even hearing the bone call. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Night of the Living Dead is on TV again. All them bloody mashed potatoes are making me hungry. Here you go. Oh. Obviously, it's an amazing movie. I just absolutely love it. Any complaints I have would just be about the link, but you know what? Watching it at home, a lot easier because I can pause it to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I know in a the theater, it's a little harder mm -hmm. to do that. The length also causes it to um, kind of hinder the uh, marathons that we like to do. We like to watch a lot of horror all at once. And, you know, it puts a little hinder. Yeah, I know, Kitty, it does. Puts a little hindrance on it. But that's okay. Doesn't make it not... I mean, it's just the only negative I really have about it. I mean, honestly. I just love it. Yeah, just absolutely love this movie. So before I get to the cream of the crop kill, I've got to talk an honorable mention. And that is Jeff's penile slaughter that he received. He got the tip. Oh, he did? Yeah, he got the tip, though. He didn't give her the tip. He got the tip for Mark. And that scene was definitely awesome. My cream of the crop kill goes to Allie. I mean, that dude, that was just everything from his little jig that he does right before he's about to start Better. slicing, to the salt, to the bleach. I mean, just <laughs> everything about that kill was just phenomenal it was just like so over the top but i was there for it what about you do you have a is there another kill that you thought went above and beyond that cream of the crop no, just that yeah um, there's a lot of good kills in this movie yeah trust but that one just and we, and we got the uh, the cat of nine tails again Mm -hmm. always love that uh anytime they pull that one out that's just you know just seeing the slashes that it leaves the weapons that he used you know yet again you know we get a couple of gun uses here yeah. which that's fine that's an arts wheelhouse so don't go judging that by jason would never use a gun michael myers would never use a gun leatherface would never use a gun it doesn't matter. We're not talking about Leatherface or Michael Myers or Jason or even Victor Crowley. <laughs> We're talking about Art the Clown and Art the Clown would use a gun. God, I cannot wait till tomorrow. I know. I can't wait. <sighs> I gotta drink a lot of caffeine because, mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of a later showing because here in Knoxville, they don't want to give us a, like, a decent time slot for 
Terrifier. I guess they gotta wait till after eight o'clock to, you know, get it going. I'm grateful we're getting it in our city, so. And I did see the release date today for the Blu-ray 4K of part three. They're already saying it's coming out 12-17, so. We're going to have our Christmas movie mm -hmm. then, too. So, you're, we'll watch it uh, tomorrow, and I'll watch it again Saturday with uh, producer Jamie. And then, you know, we watch it again for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And it will be become a, a Christmas staple, you know, right there with uh, A Silent Night, Deadly Night, and Krampus, and Santa Slay. Can somebody please put out a good Santa Slay, beautiful 4K, with maybe a, you know, a Goldberg commentary track? I mean, what? it's awesome. It's movie day. What am I going to pull out of the bag today? Oh, an Ice Nine Kills CD. Funny thing, if you remember back when, when we did Terrifier for the Horror Buddies. One of the things that this movie is missing is that rock and roll like theme song. Though. Yeah, it needs one. I like, it? I like the score, you know, Paul's yeah. doing a good job, you know, does a good job on the score. Yeah. But it needs that rock and roll, heavy metal fucking theme song. Yeah, because heavy metal horror is go hand in hand. Yeah, I know. I was bitching that I thought maybe there should be like, you know, some sort of a metal song as the theme song for a Terrifier or something like that. Guess what? Terrifier 3, Ice Nine Kills does a song. So, I'm gonna obviously tell you guys what I think about it after I hear it today. Well, that makes sense for being in the bag. Now, what else can be back here? Hmm. Oh. My phone, because, hmm, I got a ticket to see Terror Fire 3. Let's go! Terrifier 3. If you're one of those, oh, it took me out of the movie. Or if Terrifier 2 wasn't your thing, I think you probably just shouldn't watch Terrifier 3. But if you love Art the Clown, if you love Terrifier 2, oh, this movie is for you. Ho, 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 ho. It was freaking awesome. You get the cold open. I don't want to spoil it right here, but I will tell you, you do find out how Art gets his head back. That was a non spoilery portion. Now, if you go any farther, you're gonna get some spoilers. The cream of the crop kill. Well, just imagine Fred Durst there and he's singing about a chainsaw. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Ah, <sighs> just amazing. Guys, I absolutely love this series. Damien went on to say that for was probably going to be the last one. It's going to tie up his whole Art the Clown thing with a big bow. Then after the, the record-breaking weekend for the movie, he said, well, there may be a five. And, and I'm, I'm feeling it, man. I would, if four's it, just give us that story finale. And for you bitches out there that say, Terrifier does not have a story. It's just gore with no substance. Go fucking sit on it because you're fucking crazy. Just because in your mind you can't see the fucking story. Naughty, naughty. But still, subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I have really enjoyed doing the Terrifier vlog for you guys. If you guys enjoy these, let me know down in the comment what you would like to see me do next. They've been pretty fun. What do you think about the Terrifier franchise? And and for all you guys out there asking, is Art the Clown an icon? And other people, no, he's too new. Bitch, Art the Clown's been around for over 10 years now. Get over yourself, okay? Yes, he's a horror icon. Is the Terrifier series slashers? I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily a slasher movie, but then at the same time, is, is Texas Chainsaw Massacre a slasher series? Um, I don't know. I don't care. He is a horror icon. Is he mainstream enough? 
you know, whatever. Maybe not. He is a horror icon. The first one we've gotten in a little while. So be happy about it. If it's not your thing, that's fine. Go watch what's your thing. I've already told you that earlier. And if you made it this far, you must be kind of cool. And none of this bitching even pertains to you. Wait, wait, wait. I forgot to say something. The first time in like 20 something years, maybe, maybe even longer than that, I got carded. Yes, I must look young. Don't look at the gray. Don't, don't, don't at me. I know I don't look young, but you know, this person carded me to go see the movie. I was like, whoa. That was funny because one thing, this person is probably young enough to be my kid. And, and I'll throw throw this up on, on the screen for you guys to see. On the door, we had this warning before we went in. It was, it was just a great experience. I don't know how many times I'm going to jump in here, but I forgot to mention the Ice Nine Kill song is barely in the movie. You do hear it just a little bit, so that was kind of disappointing that I didn't get like the theme song type thing. Even though the Christmas theme song was really cool, the Ice Nine Kill song was barely in the movie. Even though the song rocks. The video, what are you doing watching me? Go watch that now. I do hope you all stay spooky. And keep that shit disheveled, because I'll be back, just like art.